I think this is probably my favourite outbuilding. <gasps> Are they safe, these stairs, Philip? Mm, absolutely not. I need light. Yes. I need water. Uh, yes. Heating. Heating? Yeah. That's a luxury. Who could possibly live in here, Anna? I don't know. Volunteers come to mind? My Tom? My name is Anna. I'm an English former fashion and textile designer. I moved to Paris, age 23, to work for the French couture house Bauman and stayed for the croissants, the wine, and of course for Philip, a filmmaker from the South Tyrolean Alps. After 10 amazing years, getting married, buying and renovating two homes and having two babies, we decided city life was no longer for us. Philip had been dreaming of buying a chateau since the day we met and finally convinced me to start looking. We came to visit Chateau gonville sur fleur Despite being in quite poor condition and needing a complete renovation, we immediately fell in love. In May 2019, we got the keys to the chateau, our new home. With a tight budget, we had no choice but to do most of the renovations by ourselves. We're learning new skills as we go, building muscles we never knew we had, and getting creative to make the chateau as personal as possible whilst preserving its historic features. It's all part of this crazy family adventure and we wouldn't change it for anything. Where are we going, Anna? We're going to explore another of our outbuildings. Which one? My future atelier. Is it really? This building here was formerly the coach house for the chateau. So we can see where the coaches would have been stored in those two big doors. And at the end of the building, there is the stables where the horses would have been. I think this is probably my favorite outbuilding. Because it comes with horses. I just love the architecture of it with the brickwork. And it's in pretty good condition, isn't it? The roof is really good. Um, it's just a bit of the facade that's crumbling. If you look at this wall here, that's exactly how the chateau looked before we started renovating the facade. And obviously they took sand and shells from the local beaches to create the render for this building. Which is not a good idea because the sea sand contains a lot of salt and that's why these walls are already crumbling. It's not a good building material, but it might have been the cheapest one. The fact that it's crumbling away gives us the chance to see what was the base of it. And you can see here they used flint. But now, Anna, instead of having horses, we have carton boxes yeah. in here. There's a lot of mess in here. I think we might need to take them to the recycling. OK, let's fill the trailer. Yeah. I might need your help, Philip. I can't, I'm filming. I just need oh. you to push from behind. Yes, I push from behind. <laughs> no, not me. Ah. Okay. Right. Come on. One handed, you can do it. Oh. Ah. I can film you how you put all the cartons in the trailer. I think we can put it on the tripod and do a time lapse and then you can help me. I think it's nice if I film you handheld. Come on. Well, bad news is the déchetterie is closed. Oh, the tip? Yeah, the tip is closed. Uh, so we'll have to do it in tomorrow morning. So now we have to hide this from the guests who are coming back because it's not very nice to look at. And no. we have a second trailer load of stuff. There was so much stuff in there. I think we underestimated it. Come off. Why are you uh, taking that ladder? So what do you want to do with it? I'm, I might find some use for it. As in? I don't know yet. We have like five more of these. Do we? Yeah. I had a bad experience with the ladder once. 
Ah, a woman wanted to kill me. You said it's too dirty to show the floor, but you agree with me filming you cleaning the floor. I know. That doesn't make any sense. Well, you don't need to film me doing this. You could help me. And for once, we can't blame anybody else than us for the mess in here. Yeah. But the fact is that the last weeks were so crazy that we didn't have time to go to the tip. And that's just the mess that accumulates within two or three weeks <laughs> of renovating. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do when we turn this into my atelier. Where are we going to put the mess? Your atelier? Yeah. This is the horse stables? Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit small, but... Well, we've got another part over there. And where do we put the horses? We build them a shelter out in the field. All right. You, you missed a little bit here, no? Yeah. Whilst you're cleaning, I continue working and show people the stables. So that was obviously space for at least four horses. I'm just saying that I have no idea how many horses would live here. Well, there's actually only one stable, which is quite strange because there's two doors for coaches. So you would imagine there would be more horses than one horse. They could be here. No, that's enough space for another horse. It's enough space, but I don't think it would have been a stable just because they don't have the half door like here. Oh. <gasps> Sorry, I got really scared because that was a... I think we should leave. We should be really quiet when we're in here. Why? What did you see? Because one of the swifts just flew in and went into its nest. Oh. Can you see? There's loads of nests in here. There's like one, two, three, four, five. I think there's just one inhabited. Also, look at this the brick floor. Yeah, it looks really nice. Can't wait until we can start on this. When can we start on this? Well, that depends on you, Anna. Why? Um, how much you're willing to work to gather the funds necessary to restore this. Do you remember, when we bought the chateau, we had an idea for each of the outbuildings. But then with time, everything became more complicated. Because we realized that in order to renovate buildings like that, you need to find a business idea that goes with it, so it, you can finance it. But I think I tell you for you could be a good idea. Should we go and have a look on the other side? Sure. It's going to be a bit of a mess in here as well, unfortunately. There's a bin in here. Much better, no? So, the mess has moved. <laughs> what happened? There was another bird. The swift again? Yeah. Look, my collection of old and probably useless sinks. I don't think they're useless. I'm sure we can find a nice place to put them. That's what we said when we started collecting them. Now we have four of them and we still haven't used one. This one will be perfect for my atelier. I need a nice big sink for cleaning my tools and my paint stuff. Yeah, but it doesn't have an overflow. That's okay. Yeah, it means that if a tap starts leaking, it will flood. What exactly do you need in your atelier? I need light. Yes. I need water. Uh, yes. Um, heating. Heating? Yeah. That's a luxury. Okay, heating. Yeah, and then, and then I just need to clear it out. Yeah. If you want heating, you need to redo the windows and the doors. Mm -hmm. If you need water, we have to install waste pipes and everything. Yeah. It's going to be a massive job, Anna. So that's going to be when? When are we going to do this? I think straight after finishing the two additional bedrooms in the springtime. And the kitchen. I think next spring, Anna. OK. Yeah. So I'm going to have to do without a workspace for a few months. Or, Anna, mm -hmm. a much easier solution. Yeah. It's just to go next door because there's a room and it looks better. It would be easier to do it up. OK. However, are you sure you need water? Yes. Why do you need water? You're a designer. For cleaning my brushes and... Yeah, but this is these handmade things. It's so 2010. Nowadays, it's everything on a computer. OK, water there will be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your new atelier. 
You mean your tool shed? Yes. You're going to sacrifice it for me? I'm going to sacrifice my tool shed. That must be love. <laughs> yeah, I like it actually. This could work. It would need less work to get to a habitable state. I could put an, a, a little electric heater or maybe yes. a little a wood stove. Yeah, because we just need to change those windows. Could I have a fire? Like a wood, a, a wood burner? There's no chimney in there. Yeah, but you could like have a flue going out here of the wall. And create a chimney. Yeah. I don't think it's that easy. No? Mm. It's kind of clean. And the ceiling is okay. Yeah, and it's nice and light. Philip, you know what? I think that this probably were two more stables here. Oh. Because I noticed that there are the half doors on both sides and there's a doorway here. So I think they probably would have had stables here and on the other side there, and this would have just been a little walkway through. And this door here is connecting through to the stables behind. I think it's a friendly space. I think this is, this is a good space to turn into an atelier, even a temporary one. And you have a beautiful view on the front garden, Anna. Yeah, it's true. Maybe once this room is finished, you can have my office as your atelier. No way. No, you've already stolen my atelier once. You're not going to steal it again. This is mine. Should we go and have a look at the next part where the coaches were stored? Sure. This was the coach house, so you can see by the size of the doors that these would have been massive coaches. And now, what do we do with it? We store all of our shutters. Exactly. So if you were wondering, where are the shutters? Well, there they are. Yeah, we had to take them off to restore the facade of the chateau. And then we put them in here for about two years. Literally, I think there is about 100 because we have about 53 windows. The reason why we are finally able to restore them and eventually put them back is the support from our patron community. And if you are interested to find out how to become a patron and what it even means to be our patron, to see what benefits you're getting in exchange for your support, then why don't you check out our patron page? The link is in the description of this video. There's a lot of work to do here, Philip. Guys, if you were wondering why I keep painting everything green, it's because, look, I completely over-ordered on paint, and that is what I have left. <laughs> or it's the paint colours that we decided actually made a mistake. Philip's smunching. Mm. More carton boxes. Oh, yeah. Here you can see the house is breaking apart in the middle. Oh, dear. Yeah. It looks quite scary, that crack, no? The problem with buildings like these is that they don't have strong foundations or they have literally no foundations. So the walls, they tend to move in this way or this way or this way. Um, what you can do, you can bring some metal beams or some metal bars in between the walls. That's what they did here. And that stabilizes the walls. It's called bracing, I think. That's what I meant, bracing. Brace yourself, guys. All right. The mystery part. This is another storage room where we just put everything we don't need from the main building for later disposal. But here we also have stairs. And unlike all the other outbuildings, this one has a second floor. Are they safe, these stairs, Philip? Mm, absolutely not. I'm doing a Philip for wearing my best outfit for exploring in here. Okay. I love this staircase. It's quite beautifully made for an outbuilding, don't you think? Yeah, it is. But you have to be careful upstairs because the floor is not always safe. It's a bit dusty in here. There's a dog house. Another dog house. <laughs> We're definitely getting signs that we need to get a dog. Definitely.
One time there was an old gentleman who came and knocked on our door and introduced himself and it turned out that when he was 16 he used to live in this room when he was working on the Chateau farm, which is quite incredible to imagine. I hope he was well paid. I don't think so. <laughs> There's a nice piece of plastic because he, you, what happened? There's a nice view onto the vegetable garden and the rose arch. The glass broke in a storm and I repaired it with an old tablecloth. But it could be a nice room because it has nice features. Look at these exposed beams and... Exposed roof. Exposed roof. <laughs> Exposed tiles, <laughs> exposed cables, exposed plaster, and he's already got a cloth rack. Who could possibly live in here, Anna? I don't know. Volunteers come to mind? Nathan? Nathan. It's just the right size for Chateau Volunteers. Applications online, please. So Philip just ran off and to get a okay, piece careful, of... Careful, careful. A piece of equipment so we see something. Yeah. So this is danger zone there. We cannot walk there because it's normal floorboards. Okay, yeah. Philip, you're really close to the dodgy boards there. That's all right. What's over here, Philip? Look. No, look, over here. This over here, look. You know what this is? What is it? I'm pretty sure this is a washing machine and when we open this inside there will be a rat. There is a nest for some sort of nest for some sort of animal. You know, we had a comment on one of our last vlogs when we explored the medieval barn and there was one tool and, and one subscriber said it was a washing machine. And now I believe that every tool we find is a washing machine. Another washing machine. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's where you put your laundry in, you fill it with water and then you spin. And look, there's even a glass so you can see if it spins properly, or if you need to add some softener. Says the expert who never washes any clothes. Don't, don't, I, I do wash clothes. Never. Here, you take the laundry out and you put your socks on it and then you spin and that squeezes the water out of the socks. <laughs> not sure. Or maybe not. I'm sure again one of our subscribers will be able to tell us what it is. Yeah. Oh, and I love this door, Philip. It's beautiful. So they would have obviously kept, I don't know, hay and straw and up here. So to get it up here, they had to use that door. And you know what, Anna, we need to get rid of this hay. Yeah. It's not good to have hay, to store hay for a long time. All sorts of beasts will nest here. Do you remember when we first arrived and we were making our little potager garden, our vegetable garden, and we thought that you could put hay on your strawberries instead of straw? Because I didn't know there was a difference in between hay and straw. Why would you know that if you don't live in the countryside? It looks the same. Not really, but... You guys, can you describe the difference in between hay and straw without looking at Wikipedia or Google? Are you sure this is safe? Oh god. Oh. It's just straw. I know, but I was thinking there might be some animal in it. What happened? Ow. What are you doing? I got really scared. And you hit yourself. And, and I... This is just a bird. Oh no, what happened? You hit yourself. A bird just flew in through the door and I got really scared and I had the camera in my hand. And then the, hurt, the camera just like whacked me on my head. It really hurts. Oh no. It's like throbbing. I'm gonna have a nice Oh, day. you have a, you have a wound actually. Do I? Yes. No way. Oh no, look at me. Now everybody will think I'm a wife beater. Thanks for the close-up. Oh look, Philip, there's a trunk. I wonder what's inside. What is that?
Oh, it's like a, is it a typewriter? No, or some sort of... What is it? Should I switch it on? Go for it. Interesting. Interesting. Definitely some sort of printer or something. Yeah. It's a nice blue trunk, I like it. Yeah, that'd be another nice restoration project. And the milk can. Welcome back. All right. I wonder if this was another stable. There's a half door again. Do you know what's in here now? No, what's in here? A lot of rubbish again. More stuff for the tip. Go in, have a look. I don't think you've ever been in here. I, uh, probably because it's really hard to get in. <gasps> oh, it? it's a cobweb. <laughs> What's going on? Why are you so scared know, of animals I'm really today? I'm scared. I don't know. That's really... Really what? Dirty and it looks like some animal has made a nest again. Oh, you know what it is, Philip? It's not a nest. It's insulation. Nah. It's the insulation from up there, look. It's a nest and it's animals who collect newspaper and make their nests. But if you feel better, we can say it's insulation. And here, that's an old pump system that used to pump the water from the well into this tank and then from this tank into the house. But it doesn't work anymore. An old pump, a beautiful marble electrical switchboard and a ceiling which is not in very good condition so I shouldn't probably stand here. So I think this would have been the fourth stable. So they had four horses. Yeah, which would make sense. They had two coaches. What have you spotted, Anna? The toilet. Oh, the toilet. What did you find? A massive horseshoe. Much bigger than the like Shetland one that you found in the outbuilding last time. This is really big. Well, they had some big work horses here, so they needed big shoes. <laughs> the best is always for the end. Oh! Oh, there was two toilets. What luxury. It reminds me of those toilets that you find when you're driving in France on the motorway. <laughs> well, it wasn't a toilet for the masters. It was a farmer's toilet. Do you think we should keep them as an original feature? Mm -hmm. So that's the end of the tour of the coach house. We still don't know what to do with this outbuilding, but I'm sure you guys have got loads of ideas. So why don't you leave us a comment below this video? this episode don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for exclusive videos and behind the scenes updates have a look at our patreon page thank you so much for watching